Good afternoon, good afternoon, my faithful royals. I am back, you guys. And I want to thank everyone who sent their condolences on the passing of my mother. Thank you so much. I do know now she is in a better place. All right, you guys, let's get back to cooking. Today I am going to do a banana foster bread pudding. I know, some sweet again. Yes, sorry you guys. I've been craving a bread pudding for a long time. So it's time for me to get busy. All right, let me give you our ingredients. Here we have eggs, we have milk, we have heavy whipping cream, we have salt, we have butter, we have banana extract, we have cinnamon extract, we have Bacardi rum. And you guys, you can also use rum extract if you don't want to use um, the actual uh, Bacardi rum. Also, we have light brown sugar, which we should have dark, but guess what you guys, I did not check before I went to the store, so I'm gonna make it work. All right, so this is light brown sugar. We have three bananas, and you guys, I have a long pack of a classic baguette. You can use brioche, but you guys, it's very expensive. So this will work just fine. And let me show you what I did. I took the baguette and I cut it into rounds and then I cut it into fourths. And you guys, you want your bread to be dry. You don't want a moist bread. So I would suggest that you buy your baguette or your brioche bread two days ahead, cut it up and then put it in the refrigerator. And I want you to hear how dry it is. Can you hear that? That's how dry you want it because it's going to really soak up um, the custard mix for the bread pudding. So again, this is how I sliced them. I did them into rounds, then I cut them into fourths. And you guys, this is four cups of the dry baguette. All right, let's get everything to rolling. And we'll come back and get this baby started. All right, you guys. See you in a few minutes. All right, you guys. I didn't have all my ingredients <laughs> uh, on the um, counter when I told you guys uh, all of the ingredients. I forgot to tell you that we're going to need sugar. That is going to be one third cup of sugar. Also, you guys, I don't know if you guys have seen my caramel cake recipe. But anyway, the caramel that I had left, I froze it. And you guys, it is amazing. It has not lost the texture or anything. It is still smooth. So if you need the recipe to the caramel, go to the video that has the caramel cake. Also, I forgot to tell you guys about walnuts that we're going to add. I mean, this is going to be one yummy bread pudding. Okay, those are the ingredients that I left out. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what's in this cup here. And I wanna shout out to my niece, Kamala Wright. She watches my videos and she said, ain't bird, can you, s oh, I'm sorry. Uh, my nickname is Bird, I know, really weird, huh? She said, can you slow down um, and try to give me precise measurements? So Kamala, I'm slowing down and here we go. In this large cup here, I have three cups of milk, one cup of heavy whipping cream, one third cup of sugar, one half teaspoon of cinnamon extract, and one fourth 
teaspoon of salt. In this bowl here, I have four eggs that are beaten, all right? So what we're going to do, I always like to mix uh, the sugar and the ingredients in a separate container before I put it in the pot. So I'm stirring all this together. And what you're going to do, you're going to put it on the stove and you're just going to warm it to where there is no more sugar left that you can hear. After that, I will come back and show you guys what we're going to do next. All right? Okay, Kamala, I hope this is helping. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Put your uh, pot on medium and just warm it, you guys. Don't get it to boiling, no bubbles around the edges. You just want it warmed. All right, All right you guys, here is the milk mixture and it should be uh, warm enough to where you can just stick your finger in it, but immediately take it out. So it should not be really hot. And I'm going to temper it just a little, but I don't think it will curdle the eggs. But you remember uh, the tempering process? All right, let me see if, let's go through this again. So what you wanna do is take some of the uh, hot mixture. Well, this is really warm, but let me set the camera up and I'll show you guys. All right, I'm going to take some of the milk mixture and I'm just going to slowly pour it into the egg mixture to bring the egg mixture to the temperature of the milk. So you want to vigorously stir. Kind of like I did on my egg custard uh, video. Okay. Let's do one more. And then we can go ahead and pour the egg mixture into the milk mixture. All right, one more. All right, you guys see that? All right. There you go, it's tempered. Let me get a different spatula, I'm sorry, a whisk, because I don't want to scratch up my pot. All right. Now let's go ahead and pour this in here. See, this is a where it won't scratch up your pans. All right, pour it in, pour it in, pour it in. Keep stirring. Whoop, fell down. Keep stirring. There you go. We have it all in there. So let's just stir it around. We are done with that. Okay, now this is what we are about to do. We're going to take this egg mixture here and we're going to pour it on our cubed dry bread. Hope this helps. You guys can see. Oh no, I forgot the light. All right. And you want your bread in a big bowl. So I got this bowl here. You guys can see it. And all I'm going to do is pour this mixture over the bread. You see that? And you guys, this needs to soak in your bread for one hour. And you want to make sure that all of your pieces are down in the, mi in the milk mixture. I don't know if you guys can see that cinnamon extract, the little specks. But let me show you something else you can do. Because you want all your pieces soaked in. Take a plate like this, make sure it's clean, and you're gonna set it down in here. And what it's going to do is make sure all of the milk soaks into the bread. So you're gonna let this sit for one hour. 
Also, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We're going to do a baking dish. I haven't decided the size yet. I want to say maybe an eight by eight and butter it. Then I'll come back and show you uh, the bread that has soaked up the milk mixture. Oh yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, the bread has soaked for an hour with a plate on top of it. And I want you to see this. And we're going to put it in this bacon dish, which I have greased the bottom uh, with butter. And I promise you guys, I looked all over in this Pyrex dish to see the size and I can't find it. I'm going to say it's not a nine by 13, it's smaller than that. So I'm going to say an eight by eight. I mean, I could be wrong. All right, and we're going to pour this in our, this Pyrex here. See that? And you guys, please don't kill me. But what I'm gonna have to do, I'm going to have to do a second video on the Banana Foster because I still don't know how to upload to YouTube without using my iPhone. And I really wanna take my time to show you guys the Banana Foster. So I'm going to do a second video. So just know this will be continued on a second video and I'll post that. So here is the bread pudding. I'm sorry, here is the bread that has been soaked in that milk mixture, which I put a plate on top. And what we're going to do, I melted two tablespoons of butter. Okay, I hope you can see this. And I'm just gonna spread it on top. Remember, oven 350, and you're going to bake it 30 to 45 minutes. And it still might be a little jiggly, which that is okay, because you will have a nice custard. All right, you guys, this video is to be continued on a second video.